Uh, sorry about holding hair <laughs> exposure. Good evening, everybody. Happy Saturday. Let's do some sit ups for exercise, please. Okay. Okay, that's it. Oh. <sighs> we take five minutes, please. Yeah. Whew. Okay. Wow.
Okay. Good evening, everybody. Okay. Ah, uh, let's get some cups, drinks, let's see. Well, what do we do for now? Yeah, so I didn't quite get the carpentry job done to fix that chair because I bought some nails, but the thing is because I don't think it's necessary that I do screw use screws because it's too much work. I have to screw in, right? I would rather just hammer in the nail. I think that will do. So, but the thing is, so I start nailing down this three and a half inch nail, and then realized it's just too much work. So, and I was looking for some thin drill bit as a lead hole, then I don't have that kind of thin drill bit, so tomorrow I'm gonna buy, go to hardware store again, because now it's closed, right now it's like 11 o'clock p.m., so hardware store, I have to go back there tomorrow and buy some thin lead drill, so that I can nail it down a lot easier, okay, so, yeah, so, that's the carpentry story, and yeah, I bought some soju, some other drinks, so I look forward to drink some of this, like uh, some Japanese drinks and soju. Yeah, this this is very vice Asia style. You have this, right? In Korean, I know what this is called. It's called measure, measure. It's a f fruit, edible fruit. And in Japanese, this uh, fruit is called ume. In Korean, it's called measure. Yeah, I recognize this. It's traditional Korean, also Japanese, Chinese drinks. Yeah, yeah. I look forward to doing that. Yeah. And I forgot to buy one thing that I need, like flushable toilet tissue. The wet, wet one. Yeah, I forgot to buy that, so I have to go back tomorrow. Yeah, buy thin lead drill bit and the flushable tissue. Okay, that's what I need to buy tomorrow. Okay. No problem. Yeah, so after last episode, what did I do? Uh, I watched some... Wild Russia documentary about this Kamchatka Peninsula, which was really beautiful. And um, after this episode, yeah, I had some food. What food did I eat? Some leftover, frozen in the freezer, like some sushi roll, microwaved it, and then some chicken wings, I think. And that was very nice. And uh then I went to bed and slept and woke up and then went to hardware store, Walmart, liquor store, and went to a park and run and did some pull-ups and then I came home. Yeah. I mean, three and a half inch long nail, right? I was hammering down to fix that chair, but then it wouldn't get in there because the nail is just too thick, right? So I stopped hammering, pulled it out, and yeah, I need some lead drill, drill bit so that hammering down is a lot easier if you have a small drill hole, right? I'm gonna do that tomorrow, okay? So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the story today. Yeah. 
<sighs> oh yeah, yeah. So physics, right? Yeah, because okay, our body temperature like ninety degrees, right? Room temperature seventy degrees. If I touch metal, metal is very conductive, good conductor of heat and pure insulator. That's why if I touch your metal, uh, my heat energy go through heat transfer from my body to the metal. Huh? The temperature heat energy moves from hot place to cold place. Heat energy, right? Yeah. And um, I, we can make some human analysis analysis there, okay? Uh, like borderline, if there is no borderline, no insulator. Yeah, uh, Mexican immigrants, they come to America because America has more money, more jobs, okay? It's kind of heat transfer, kind of, okay? Copium transfer. And when it comes to, uh, where is the trash? Oh, there it is. I make sure to trust this. Okay. And, but if I touch wood, although it's 70 degrees, same temperature as iron, uh, wood is a good insulator or plastic. Okay. So I touch it. Um, heat does not transfer very well. So that's why I don't feel cold when I touch clothing, wood, air. Plastic, they are good insulator and poor conductor of heat. Okay, so that's why. Okay, so whenever our temperature changes, if I touch metal or glass, heat transfer from my body to the metal or glass. Uh, so our neurons on the skin sense that temperature change in our skin. Okay, that's why we feel cold when we touch glass or metal we heat transfer okay our skin temperature goes down right locally but if i touch plastic paper wood i don't feel anything why because they are not good at conductor of heat so they don't take my heat very well they're good insulator okay so that's the physics and biology okay yeah i forgot to Tell you that. We take five minutes break, please. Okay. All right. I forgot to tell you last time. So. Okay.
Okay. Ah. <sighs> okay. <sighs> so I'm a huge fan of this gas station hot dogs. My favorite is called a uh, Bahama Mama or Mama Bahama. Runs very well, right? And it's this big fat sausage. Ah, <sighs> it's so good. I think there's some cheese in there too. Okay. Every once in a while, I indulge myself with those uh, tasty food, okay? I do. Once in a while, I think that's fine. Weekends, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I need to buy some milk, huh? Let, let me grab my cell phone real quick, okay? Yeah, I always forget to buy stuff, so I have to type it all down so that I don't forget. Oh, uh, milk. Okay, good. Okay. So, um, can I can I drink some? <laughs> I'm really curious about this. Meshil meshil ju ju means alcohol. Okay, drink. I call it drink in Korean word. So meshil that's that fruit. So meshil ju, meshil drink. Okay. Uh. Yeah, let me let me try this. I'm very really curious about this. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Let me flush this out. Okay, so I have that cup there, and uh, uh, okay, all right, measure jewel. I'm quite excited about this. It is Japanese, okay, but in Korea, China, they make the same kind of drinks, okay, it's, uh, in Korean world, it could, it's called Meshilju, okay, so I'm very excited to drink this, okay, it's been like decades since I had Meshilju, okay, so, cheers, happy Saturday.
yeah, yeah. It's good. Uh, perhaps too sweet, but it's good. It's kind of too sweet, though. Okay. Ah, uh, but the well, Korean version of this is not not as sweet as this. Okay. Did they? I, I guess Japanese machine have more sugar content. Hopefully, they didn't put sugar in there. This is not magic, this is plum. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's why it's so sweet, huh? It's, it's plum. This is not magic, okay? I'm sorry. It's, it's plum. That's why it's so sweet. Okay, okay. Because Korean magic juice, it kind of looks like plum, but that's not sweet at all, okay? Okay, this is plum wine. Okay, okay. It's not magic juice, okay? Oh, that's fine. It's it's kind of sweet, all right. So, but it's good. Let me grab another cup and um drink some soju, okay? I have to watch this. Okay, so this will be. I have a lot of wine glasses, by the way. Okay, so um, now that I'm single, I never got to use it. Unless I'm just drinking by myself. Okay, so. Uh, soju. This is Korean, okay? So. As far as I know, in this town, Matsu Valley, there's one store who sells this, okay? Because yeah. I looked at other stores, they don't have soju, okay? So, cheers, happy Saturday! Good, I like it. Yeah. Very good, yeah. I mean, Japanese drinks are good, like sake and whatnot, right? But they, they tend to be too sweet, okay? And when I drink alcohol, I don't drink, I don't, it's not my preference to have very sweetened drinks. Like cocktail and whatnot. But I, I like sake though. Sake is not sweet, but plum wine, uh, I think it's too sweet in my taste. But sake, uh, soju, they're not sweet at all, so I, I like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else do we talk about today? So earlier today, we, we talked about the uh, spiral equation, okay? So I made a note over there. Uh, how about some acting, okay? So it's like this, okay? Uh, I appreciate, I'm an adult, okay? I appreciate adult film industry people, actors and actresses. Yeah, in pornography, okay? Because I'm a single guy, okay? So, uh, like some acting okay all right so
like I finished reading about the Kennedy family, the House of Kennedy. Okay, you have Donald J. Trump, John F. Kennedy, Frank Sinatra, Robert Kennedy, Harvey Weinstein, the married man with money, power, and fame. Although they are married, some women go to their bedroom and to sleep with them. Go to their hotel room to sleep with them. Harvey Weinstein. It was all consensual. I don't think it was a rape. I think it's all consensual. Okay. Me Too Movement. Okay. I don't think it was rape or sexual assault. I think it's all consensual. And those ladies, they went to Harvey Weinstein's hotel room all by themselves. It's obvious what to expect to happen there. Okay. Yeah. And they knew Harvey Weinstein was married. You have JFK, Robert Kennedy, you have Frank Sinatra, Donald J. Trump. They were married men. But some ladies will go to bedroom anyway to sleep with them. Why? Because those guys have money, power, and fame. So, they don't, so some women, that, I'm not saying all women are like that, but I'm saying some women, they don't care. They sleep with those wealthy men anyway, although they knew they are married. Okay. Not all women are like that, but some women are. Like that, okay, so. And there are another type of women who love bad boys. They love dating criminals, like murderers and rapists. And many times, the women, the kind of women who love bad boys, like criminals, are they do get raped and murdered by their own boyfriends and husbands. Okay. Some women are like that. They, they love bad boys, criminals, and so they marry them, date them. After that, what happened? What happens? Uh, they get murdered, they get raped and murdered. Some women are like that. Okay. It's, it's strange because they love bad boys. Some women, not all women, but some women love bad boys. And they end up getting raped and murdered by their own boyfriends, by their own husbands, okay? Duh! Some women are like that, okay? And how about guys like me? We are not murderers, we are not rapists, we are not criminals, we are nice guys. But at the same time, so we are not that far low down and criminals, okay? we are not that. We abide by the law. We are nice guys. We have jobs. We pay our bills. And we are non-violent. We are very peaceful people. We guys. Middle income single guys. Like me. Okay. But at the same time, we are not the higher end either. We are not Donald J. Trump, Harvey Weinstein, JFK, Frank Sinatra, Robert Kennedy. We are not celebrities. We are not we don't have money, power, fame. We are not like elites, okay? We are just middle income single guys. So I guess, but we are single. Those wealthy men, they are all married. Okay? Criminals, yeah, they, they have boyfriend, I mean, girlfriends and mad wives, right? Because some girls love bad boys like that. And some girls love wealthy men, even though they are married. Okay, so how about us? Middle income, low abiding single guys. I guess women find us very boring because we are not bad boys, we are not elites, we are just middle income, low abiding single guys. So I guess women find us very boring. Okay, so, but we single guys, middle income, low body, right? So maybe we are not popular among ladies, but 
we are male adults, so there's nothing wrong with purchasing adult films. We are single male adults, so there's nothing wrong for us to purchase some adult films, adult entertainment, yeah, pornography, movies. So, and we take care of our libido, sexual energy, we let it out by watching those movies. Okay, so, yeah, yeah. But, I do not want people to get into that industry, although I appreciate people who do, because I'm a regular purchaser, uh, but I do not want people to get into that in industry because I care about their health and reputation. Okay? Humanity has accumulated enough adult film materials, okay? So I don't think we need to make any more. All right, I think we have enough of adult films accumulated, okay? Because I care about people's health and their reputation, okay? Uh, I want to say that, okay? <sighs> so, do uh, it's a little bit too sweet, okay? I kind of like sake, okay? I told you uh, it's a little bit too sweet, okay? Let me have some sake, okay? So. Yeah, sake, sake is not sweet at all, okay? So, I like sake. Soju uh, a little bit too sweet, too sweet for me, okay? Okay. Mm. But don't get me wrong, okay? Most women, they're very ethical, moral people. Uh, just like there are some bad guys, yeah, there are some strange women out there who work to wealthy married men like Donald J. Trump or Harvey Weinstein or JFK, RFK, whatever, Sinatra, whatever, okay. Some strange, there are some strange women like, uh, who have, go after Wealthy married man, I, I just like, my goodness. And some, there are some strange women who go after criminals, so-called bad boys. Yeah, there are some strange women like that, okay? And yeah, there are bad guys, I know, okay? Maybe I'm, I don't think I'm one of those bad guys, okay? I'm not criminal, I don't commit any crimes. I'm a law-abiding citizen and... <sighs> Go to work and do some politics. I don't think I'm a bad guy. No, no, I don't think so. I think I'm a nice guy. <laughs> Although I'm a drink and yeah, sometimes I'm mean, right? I know. Maybe I'm not that nice, but most ladies, 90% of women, they're very nice, moral, ethical people. Okay, I know. Okay. I'm just pointing out there's some strange women out there. Okay. It's like, who have to marry the man? Who have to criminals, huh? What are they thinking? Oh my goodness. Duh. And also guys, yeah, there are bad guys, okay? Okay, Donald J. Trump, okay, you're a married man and you sleep with other girls. Crazy, okay? John F. Kennedy, Robert Kennedy, Frank Sinatra, Harvey Weinstein, married men going after younger women. Crazy, okay? Just like bad. 
adulterous. Criminalistic guys, bad, not very smart. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna save the world, okay? We're gonna teach people ethics and morality. We educate them, okay? So that they don't stop, they don't, so that they stop committing crimes, so there'll be no more crimes, no more adultery, alright? Yeah, we'll fix this world, we'll repair it. But that's like only 10% of humanity, okay? This is a very small portion of population, okay? Maybe 1%. Okay? 99% of people are good, okay? Both male and female, okay? So, 1% of them, we'll fix them up, okay? We're gonna educate them, we'll discipline them, okay? Yeah. We'll heal them. we we'll educate them, okay? Yeah. No problem. Okay, we we'll take five minutes break, please. Okay. All right. Yeah, we we'll fix them up. We we'll gonna teach them, okay? Yeah, we we'll correct them. So it's all good. So, so, moral of the story, girls do not go after married men, girls do not go after criminals, guys don't be criminals, don't commit any crimes, 
And guys, do not commit any adultery, okay? So that's the moral of the story. <laughs> and my advice to single guys or any man who cannot who have too much libido, sexual energy, watch adult film, okay, and just get it out on a regular basis, and that's what I do. I mean, I don't have that much libido anymore, okay? I don't have that much sexual energy, because I'm aging. I'm 42 years old, okay? But my advice to guys out there who have a lot of sexual energy, watch some adult films and on a regular basis and get it out, okay? No adultery. Alright, because I want people to be healthy, I don't want them to get STD, sexually transmittable diseases, okay? I don't want them to get it, okay? How about girls? They, they don't have any sexual energy, okay? Girls, they don't have sexual energy, it's, it's just gender thing. Women don't really want to have intercourse. It's, it's not their thing, okay? So, but some women want to have children, which is great, okay? You yeah, can't marry a good man. Don't go after Harvey Weinstein or Donald J. Trump or JFK or Sinatra. Or don't go after married men or, yeah, Bill Gates, <laughs> Jeff Bezos. Don't go at a married man, okay? Just get a good man. Get married, have kids, have family. I'm like, it's common sense. In Alaska, we have a lot of single guys here, okay? <laughs> I'm one of them, okay? And they are eligible bachelors, okay? Alaskan guys, many of them, good men, okay? And they make good money, okay? It's just that in Alaska, we don't have that many women here. Why? In the winter, it gets cold and dark. We have long winter, okay? But nowadays, thanks to global warming, winter in Alaska is not bad at all. Last winter was quite warm. It does snow, yes. So what? Uh, snow is fun. Alright? But, yes, we have dark winter, okay? Right now it's like 11 o'clock, okay? In the summer it's nice. 11 o'clock p.m. You see how bright outside it is, okay? Yeah, it's kind of pretty, right? It's, it's beautiful. Azure, this light blue, baby blue, cerulean blue, okay, whatever. <laughs> From x episode, okay. Summer in Alaska, it's not nice and warm and it's beautiful, but too many mosquitoes, okay. Oh my goodness, today is like crazy, mos one of those crazy mosquito days. They evolve, right? So. They have this fly pattern, like zigzag, okay, it's difficult to catch, right? <sighs> I don't like mosquitoes. <sighs> I don't like mosquitoes, alright, so... I actually prefer winter in Alaska, okay? Why? There are no mosquitoes, okay? And I'm a runner. When I run in the winter, I do not sweat. The cool air in the Alaska winter cools my body down when I'm running, okay? But in the summer, I get sweaty, alright? So I don't like that. So I prefer Alaska winter, okay? But for ladies, uh, they don't like Alaska very much because dark, long, cold winter, women, they don't like that, okay? We guys, no problem. 
I have no problem with long, cold, dark winter at all. I kind of like it, okay? Dark winter, no problem. It's, it's very comforting, very comfortable. Like, long darkness in the cold, dark, long winter in Alaska. I have no problem whatsoever, okay? Yeah, darkness. It's very comforting. Okay? I can open my eyes bigger when it's dark. <laughs> okay? I have no problem with dark winter, okay? Long, dark winter. Winter in Alaska, I have no problem also. Actually, I kind of like it. We get to see this aurora borealis, right? I like that too, okay? So. But women do not like that, okay? So that's why we, we have more men than women in Alaska. And there are a lot of eligible bachelors here, alright? Who make good money? Not me. I, I I'm just average salary. Okay. I'm I don't see myself as an eligible bachelor. Okay. Because uh I'm just happy single. Okay. Yeah, I don't make that much money, okay? I just pay my bills and that's it. This house, why I can afford it? Because I'm a veteran. Interest rate is low. Because I'm veteran, okay? Yeah, VA backed veteran administration backed guaranteed home loan. That's why my interest rate is very low, okay? And that's why I can afford this mortgage, okay? Hmm? There are a lot of benefits of being a veteran, okay? I was in the US Army, okay? If you are young enough to join the U.S. military, and if you are in America, I highly recommend it, okay? Uh, but yes and no, it's not for everybody. We'll take five minutes break and we'll talk about it. Join the U.S. military, if you are in America, okay? We'll talk about that, okay? Because it's not for everybody, okay? So I, I, I'll give you some information on that. Okay? We'll take five minutes, please. All right. Okay.
Okay. So, uh, before we get into military story, okay. Uh, there's some amazing, um, Koreanized Japanese cuisine, okay. One of them, uh, Japanese word udon, 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 udon. Korean word, this udon, udon, okay. Uh, this and this amazing, okay. This Koreanized Japanese udon, okay, udon, okay. Oh, it's, it's so good. They put this seaweed kelp in Korean word tashima, okay. Oh, it's so chewy and then this udon noodle is thick. Wine noodle, okay. It's just the texture, right? It's so amazing. And we have this Korean, this wooden chapstick, right? <sighs> wow, so good. It's a taste of heaven, paradise, nirvana, right? It's like heaven on earth. Amazing, okay. <sighs> My favorite brand, Korean udon, uh, turbo, turbo guksu. Guksu means noodle, okay. Turbo. Turbo means Mustache man, okay. There's this Korean guy, great, fantastic cook and fantastic businessman back in the 1980s, Mr. Turbo, Mr. Mustache, okay. That's his brand, okay. And they sell it in the gas station. Korean gas station, okay. Yeah, it's like restaurant, okay. They have tables and chairs, okay. Yeah, so good. On the highway. Gas station, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. Huge fan. And also, a couple of days ago, uh, my friends and me, we went to a kind of Eastern European restaurant in Alaska. Okay. And there are a couple of them, okay. And I had this Eastern European cuisine. Uh, it's like, uh, I think it's kind of Russian, okay, because I, I talk to them, okay, uh, they're Russians, Russian, American, Alaskans, okay, on amazing cooks, right? They had this cabbage wrap. Cabbage wrap, what's in there? Uh, they put some chicken and beef. I guess they used olive oil, I guess, some kind of oil. Hey, it was amazing. Okay, cabbage wrap. Oh, they are so good. Eastern European cuisine, okay. Possibly Russian, okay. And they had this pickled green tomato. It was amazing. Pickled green tomato, okay. It was good, okay. Oh, God. The texture, still very firm. Pickled green tomato. Eastern European style, okay. It was amazing. Yeah. yeah. Good food, okay. Yeah. So, military story, okay, okay. Yeah, it's not for everybody, okay. US military, if you're in America or whatever country you are at, okay. Doing the military is, uh, it's a, it's, it's a not an easy decision. You may get deployed, it can be dangerous. You may lose your life, you may lose your limbs. It is dangerous during the military, okay? I can only speak for US military. I've never been to Korean military, okay? My friends in Korea did, okay? But i I never been to Korean military, okay? Because I'm an American citizen, all right? Yeah. But my Korean friends, yeah, guy friends, they all went to Korean military, okay? I, but I can only speak for American military, okay? Especially U.S. Army, because I was in the Army, okay? So, uh, it can be dangerous, okay? And you may get deployed to foreign war. I was, I deployed to Afghanistan for a year, okay? And you may lose your life your limbs they can happen okay it's not for everybody okay it can get dangerous right
All right. But if you join, well, U.S. Army, okay. So typical U.S. Army days, soldier. I was junior enlisted soldier, E4 specialist because I have bachelor's degree. Okay. Uh, soldier's life. Monday to Friday, you wake up. <sighs> Six o'clock or six sorry. You get into form get into formation. What is formation? Yeah, rows and ranks. Just stand in rows and columns, okay? Forty inches all around, you just stand there. And you have to be there by six fifty with PT uniform, physical training uniform, okay. Monday through Friday from 7 to 8, you do push up, sit up, and two mile run. Kinda, okay. Not, not, maybe not two miles, okay, but yeah, you do push ups and sit ups and some running, maybe one mile, okay. Seven to eight, Monday to Friday. That's US Army, okay. So it's not it's not for everybody, okay, so. After that, 8 to 9, you have one hour to take a shower, change to army combat uniform with army boots with shoestring, okay? <laughs> and during that one hour, you have to get back to your barracks room and take a shower, shave, Army combat uniform, army boots, and you go to defect, dining facility, uh, chow hall, you eat breakfast, and you have to get, go to work by 8.50. So technically you have 50 minutes to do all that stuff. Take a shower, dress in army combat uniform, go to chow hall, eat breakfast, and go to work by 8.50, 10 minutes prior, Monday to Friday. I did that for four years. So, you get to your work by 8.50 and stand in formation. And nine o'clock, yeah, four sergeant, captain, commander, okay, they we salute and they give us some information and then we go to work. Nine o'clock, well like nine ten, nine fifteen, okay. And we have lunch time between uh twelve and one o'clock, one hour lunch, and we come back to work, we work until five o'clock. Monday to Friday, because this typical U.S. Army soldier's life. Okay. Some of my army buddies would tell me, okay, yeah, U.S. Army is great for single guys. It is. Why? Because you don't have to cook. We are single guys, we don't have to cook, we go to chow hall and army combat uniform and PT uniform is all free for us and we have laundry facility, barracks room, it's kind of like dormitory life, okay, we have gyms, gymnasium, we can lift weights, we can run. Also, we get paid just a little bit, right? We get to save. Great for single guys, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have army of friends, our brothers and sisters, uncles and aunts, okay? Army of friends. U.S. Army is like big family. 
gigantic family, okay? Brothers and sisters, uncles and aunts, right? Yeah. All different races. It's still one big family. That's how US Army. At least once was when I was there. Okay. I don't know. I cannot speak for US Army right now. So I'm not there. Okay. But when I was there between 2009 and 2013, big family. Okay. Brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts. Right. Big family. Okay. No racism whatsoever, no. It's just brothers, sisters from whatever races. No racism whatsoever, okay. Mm -hmm. After that, you get GI Bill. If you get to survive four years. You get GI Bill, you can go to college. But I went to law school. Because I already have bachelor's degree, okay? I went to law school, okay? And you can go to medical school, you can go to MBA, Master of Business Administration, and they'll pay you, okay? GI Bill, yeah. Hmm? Yeah, I got mine, I used it for law school, okay? Oh, they pay for everything, okay? Yellow Ribbon Program, also, I got Dean Scholarship, US Army, post 9-11 GI Bill, and yeah, everything is paid for, okay? I also got stipend, living expenses, okay? There's post 9-11 GI Bill package. You get paid for studying, it's like scholarship. But you have to survive though. For four years, okay. I was lucky, okay. Yeah. I survived. I also got soldier of the quarter. Also technician of the quarter, also technician of the year. Yeah, I, I got some awards. Okay. Why? I worked very hard. When I was in the US Army, okay. I, I can't give the impression to people that I'm lazy because I'm always happy, I'm always smiley, right? So people don't think I'm, I work very hard. They think I'm kind of lazy, smart, lazy man. But actually I, I do work. <laughs> I work hard, okay? I just know how to be happy. Dancing, singing, martial art. Yeah, drinking, smoking cigarettes, okay? Then I'm a happy camper, okay? Good religion, philosophy, studying, history, mineralogy, geology, science, mathematics, physics, okay. Yeah, intellectual entertainment. Yeah, acting, singing, dancing, martial arting, okay. Good stuff, okay. Yeah, I know how to have fun, how to be happy, okay. But I do work hard. When it, it comes to time to work, okay. <laughs> I enjoy working hard, okay? But 40 hours a week, that's it, okay? So I don't work more than 40 hours a week. Typically, past three weeks, I worked like 60 hours a week, maybe 50 hours a week. Past three weeks, it was busy, okay? I, I know how to work, okay? So I don't always just... Work and play, I, I know both. Okay, so, okay. We take five minutes break, please, okay? So. Work and play, I know how to do both, okay? So, we take five minutes, okay? <laughs> Having some fun, right? It's Saturday, okay? <sighs>
So, uh, let's talk about K-pop. How about that? Yeah, I mean, K-pop nowadays, BTS, Blackpink, to me, they're like Manchurian Koreans. Okay, they're not real Korean. They're fake Koreans and fake dancers and fake singers, manufactured product, kind of artificial intelligence, robotic, brainwashed, <laughs> totally fake. Manchurian Koreans, they're not real Korean, they're fake Koreans. They don't represent Korea at all. all right? They're just whatever. Right? Manchurian K-pop, fake K-pop, okay? But back in the days, 1990s, 1980s, the true real K-pop classics, like H.O.T., One Hit Wonder of South Korea, right? Candy, right? They are, they got real talents, okay? H.O.T. Five Boys. Yeah, Five Boys band. They got real talents, okay? Singing, dancing, right? They, 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 fashion, okay? They are the real ones, okay? So, K-pop classic, 1990s, H.O.T. One Hit Wonder, okay? They sang this one song, like Candy, okay? That was real good, okay? Huge fan of their music video. Performance, great, great, great talents, okay. Hands on man, yeah. But H H.O.T. is great, but later on, you have BTS, you have like Blackpink, okay, total fake, okay. They're like Manchurian Koreans, they're not real Koreans, okay. They don't know what Korea is about, okay. They're clueless Manchurian Koreans, okay. I mean, Alaska, we have some fake candidates like Mrs. Commission or Manchurian candidate. Not a real candidate, but fake politician, fake candidate, okay? Oh. I'm sorry, I can be very harsh and mean, rude, bad. But hey, I'm just exercising U.S. constitutional right, constitutional activity, some Constructive criticism, not destructive, but, you know, uh, Korean guys, girls, uh, Alaskan can candidates, uh, just behave yourself. Stop being such a fake, Manchurian, robotic, programmed, brainwashed, stop that. Just be yourself. Huh? Am I asking too much?
I'm sorry if I disappointed you, but the more you learn about me, it's possible that the more you'll be disappointed because I'm not that nice. I'm sometimes dirty. I'm a dirty man. But I'm a law-abiding citizen. I just exercise my constitutional right, freedom of speech. Because I consider myself to be an American. Some people don't think I'm an American, okay? That's fine, okay? Whatever. Whatever, okay? Yeah, that's fine, okay? So, just don't kick me out of this country, okay? Because I love America. I love living here in America, okay? Just please do not deprive my uh, birthright, birth citizenship, okay? I was born here, okay? <laughs> Possibly <laughs> even before you were born in America, okay? Yeah, you know what? I've been living in America for like 23 years by now. You're born and raised in America, but maybe you are what? 21 years old. I've been living in America longer than you have for 23 years. You were born and raised in America. You have no accent. Yeah, I have accent, okay? What's wrong with that? I'm bilingual. I don't know Korean and English, okay? So. You may be born and raised in America, okay, and you have no accent, you may be 21 years old, okay, guess what? I have lived in America for 23 years, longer than you have. Okay? Okay. okay. Alright. Let me grab some drinks. Okay. I, 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 yeah, sake, soju is good, but it's too light. I want something stronger. <laughs> How about vodka? Whiskey. Let me tap that, okay? How about dandelion? Dandelion vodka and plant vanilla whiskey. How about that? Yeah. Some spruce tips too. So yeah, H.O.T. 1980s, okay, huge fan, huge talent, they were amazing dancers, okay, the, 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 the choreography and their style, fashion, amazing, okay, yeah, H.O.T., okay, so, one hit, one dog, okay, of South Korea, they sang this song, Candy, okay. You want me to sing that for you? Yeah, just a little bit. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, it's love song, okay? Yeah, you and I, we break up, but I wait for you until you come back to me, okay? This love song, okay? <sighs> Amazing dancing, okay? H.O.T. They know how to dance, those, those five boys. I think that they were teenagers back then, okay? I think they probably are younger than me. I think so. I thought as and boys, they are older than me, okay, but HOT, I think they might be younger than me. Okay, I'm not quite so sure, but I think they are younger than me, okay, so. I, I think so, I don't know, okay. Maybe one of the same age, I, I, I think they are younger than me, okay, so H.O.T., okay. But another K-pop classic, it's not one hit, one dog 
Så tager jeg en bojus, det er med for jeg vores, okay? Det er med, det er kaldet Korean Beatles, The Beatles of Korea, okay? Det er med med many good songs, okay? Så tager jeg en bojus, tager jeg en bojus, okay, ja. K-pop classic, back in 1990s, okay, so. Early 90s, okay? H.O.T., I think they are like late 90s, okay? That's what I think. Uh. Mm -hmm. So Let's take five minutes break, okay? And then um, let's talk a little bit more about episode four, Friday Night Live with Hunky Lee. Because it's kind of memorable because <laughs> that's the only Friday Night Live with Hunky Lee with some guests, participants in the Zoom meeting, okay? And uh, out of five episodes in the past, okay? Maybe in the future, yeah, uh, we may have some more participants. I don't know, okay? I'm okay either way. But Fr Friday Night Live with Hunky Lee, Episode 4 is kind of memorable because there were actually some participants in the Zoom meeting, okay? Fed into Facebook Live, okay? So, it's in Google YouTube. Friday Night Live with Hunky Lee episode 4, yeah, it's, it's, it's up there, okay? Anybody can watch it, okay? Yeah. If you're curious, okay? Yeah. We'll take five minutes break, please, okay? And we'll talk about some episode 4, okay? Good stuff, really. I, I really do enjoy that experience. And by now, I think I watched it like 10 times, okay? <laughs> I think I watched it like 10 times, okay? Very educational stuff, good stuff, okay? We take five minutes break, okay? And we'll talk about that just a little bit, okay?
Okay. So, uh... What were we going to talk about? I forgot. Oh, yeah, episode 4. Okay. Yeah, I mean, initially, we kind of disagreed on ideological point of view, very different religions, different politics, ideal different ideologies, but later on, we became friends, okay? So that's basically it, okay? And uh, some of the participants told their stories, okay? Hardships and some problem, problem solving, okay? We did all that stuff, okay? We, we took care of business, okay? Yeah, some group discussion, problem solving, Okay, it, it was very nice, right? Yeah, it's all in Google YouTube, Friday Night Live with Hunky Lee channel. Yeah, that's my political channel, okay? So, uh, it went very well, okay? Episode 4, it was a huge success in content substance, okay? Although, mm, like, not many people are watching it right now. Oh, no problem, okay? We don't really care about how money, power, fame, right? We do our job, okay, and then we're a happy camper, okay. I, I made a movie, Therapy for Metrophobia. I'm very satisfied with the end result, how that movie came out, ended up. I'm very satisfied with that movie, okay, although not many people are watching it. It's also in the Google YouTube, okay, so yeah, it, it does not matter, money, power, fame, it, that's not our concern. What, our job is to make good products for the benefit of humanity, pro bono, okay? Money, power, fame, that's irrelevant, okay? That's not our concern. We do our job, we publish it, and we move on to the next project, okay? Yeah. We keep learning, continue to live, diet, exercise, we be healthy, live long time, Longevity, diet, exercise, and we work, we have fun, we rest, and we keep learning, making some products, publish it, make it available to everybody for free, and we continue to learn, make products, publish it, teach people, learn from people, study. We just keep doing that. Right. Yeah. So life is good, okay? Yeah. We do our job. Alright? Yeah. Welcome to humanology, okay? Anything goes, okay? So, anything good. Huh? You'll find it right here, okay? Mm hmm. Why do I sing your song? Yeah, another Korean K-pop classic, 1990s. Yeah, Miss Female, Korean female, Miss Park Mi-kyung. Miss Park, mi Park, okay. In Korean name, yeah, family name come first. Given name, second, okay. So, Miss Park, that's her family name. So, Park Mi-kyung, mi is her given name, okay. So, yeah, in Korean name, yeah, family name come first. Given name, go next, okay? In Korea, uh, they don't have middle name. But back in the days in Korea, they have this uh, extra name, kind of full name, okay? Uh, among high class people, okay? <laughs> they have that tradition, okay? Yeah, okay? Back in the days, okay. So I know about that. I I'm conversant in Korean history, okay. So yeah. I'm literally in, fairly well educated in Korean history tradition, okay. So yeah, the high class males they had extra name, okay, and it goes first, okay. 
Sor Sor name, okay, it's kind of like that, okay, so back in the days, okay. Uh, my grandfather was a judge in Seoul, South Korea. I, I, not Seoul, but South Korea, somewhere. Okay. I think the town was Gwangju. It's like the south west of Korean Peninsula. Okay. In South Korea, okay. He was a judge and he had this, uh, Sor Sor name, kind of extra name for high class males. Okay. They used to have that. Uh, his sorcerer name, okay, noble name, it was Sosan. It means small mountain. Small mountain, okay. Very humble, right? Yeah, that's my grandfather, okay. Father side, okay. He was a judge and he was very, uh, he was all about helping our poor people. Huh? Yeah. He was hugely popular, okay. He was not too much about money. He just wanted to help out poor people as a judge. That's my father's side grandfather, okay? And his wife, my paternal grandmother, she had to make money, okay? And she did. She farmed chickens and pigs. Because they had eight children, one of them my father, uncles and aunts, okay. How many boys? Three boys. My father, two uncles, and five aunts. I have five ends, okay, so... I'm trying to remember all my ends. I think I have five ends, okay, so... I remember four ants, okay, I can, in my head, I can remember their faces, my ants, okay, so... And in Korean, Komo, okay. Ah, uh, remember one, two, three. I think I remember all of them, okay, so... I'm trying to remember where they lived in South Korea, and South Korea in general, okay. So one of them lived in Gwangju, one of them... Okay, yeah, I, now I remember all of them, okay. I'm trying to remember where they lived in South Korea, okay. Yeah, five aunts, two uncles, and my father, they... My father's side grandparents have eight children, okay? Mm -hmm. So my grandmother should had to work, raise chickens and pigs and sell them, okay? Farming. Why? Because my grandfather, father's side, paternal grandfather, he was a judge, but he was not 
able to bring in enough money because that's not his interest. He's more pro bono for the benefit, charity, humanitarian effort, kind of like philanthropy, okay? That's my father's side, grandfather, okay? Uh, my mother's side, grandfather, grandmother, they, they, they're great too, okay? So they, they're both cool families, okay? My father's side, mother's side. They were very cool people, both of them, okay? I'm just talking about my paternal grandfather, okay? Yeah, he was a lawyer, a judge, okay? And he was not making enough money to raise eight children, so my grandmother, his wife, had to work. And she was very, very good at it. Business savvy, okay? So. So they raised their eight children, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of them, my father, okay? Yeah. Good parenting, okay? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Let me get some sake, okay? Yeah, this sake cup. Alright, so. Yeah, all my, my parents, grandparents, mother's side, father's side, all of them, okay? They're fantastic. Koreans. Good people, right? Good parents. Good grandparents. All of them, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. Japanese sake, I like it, okay, so, yeah. <laughs> very Japanese. Very good, okay, yeah, I like it. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, there's some bad blood in the history between Japan and Korea, okay. It, it's bygone eras, okay, yeah. It's in the past, okay. I love Japan, Korea, China. I love all of them, okay? Yeah. Japan is not the only country who colonized Korea, okay? Back in the days, Mongolia, like Genghis Khan, Genghis Khan, yeah, they, they did colonize Korea too, back in the days. Okay. Yeah. And some part of Ko some part of Korea was colonized by China too, back in the days, okay? So. Japan is not the only country that colonized Korea, okay? It's just the most recent. Okay? Yeah. I'm very well educated in Korean history, Asian history in general, okay? Mm -hmm. Japan, just like any other countries, good and bad, okay? But about a month ago, I read about this kind of disappointing statistics, alarming, okay? South Korea is way up there in the ranking when it comes to per capita suicide. I mean, in America, per capita highest suicide rate Alaska, Montana, Wyoming, okay, and also South Korea, internationally, high rate of suicide. <sighs> suicide pre prevention, we'll talk about that. Give me five minutes, okay? So do I know why South Korea is way up there when it comes to per capita suicide rate internationally? Do I have some theories? Do I understand why? Yes. Because I lived in South South Korea for like almost half of my life. 18 years, okay. 
Yeah, I kind of understand why. I'll tell you after five minutes, baby. Yeah, so. yeah. I tell you, okay. Yeah. All right, we'll take five minutes break, okay? So, please do not comment on suicide, okay? <laughs> but, yeah, it's not laughing matter, but you know what? Yeah, uh, we'll talk about it, okay? Suicide prevention, okay? It's a very important topic, okay? So, we'll talk about it, okay? But please do not comment on suicide, okay? Keep living, continue to live, live and let live, okay? So, no suicide and no crimes, okay? So, peace on ours, please. Have some longevity, okay? Alright. Let's take five minutes break, please. Alright? Alright. Hey. Okay. We'll talk about it, okay? Yeah.
Okay, so why is suicide so prevalent in South Korea? Why is South Korea high in the ranking, internationally speaking? Per capita, high suicide rate because they work too much. They overwork. They don't know how to rest. Look at BTS, Blackpink, okay? To get them international stage, it took a lot of marketing. Perhaps South Koreans, are, maybe they are too ambitious. They work too much. Okay? Too much stress. They don't know how to take a rest. Okay, so yeah, I mean, Korean drinks in Alaska, soju is there, and you have kimchi. In, I can buy kimchi in Walmart. And you have some Korean brands like Hyundai, Samsung, Kia, LG. They are making international sensation nowadays. K-pop or Korean movies getting all these Academy Awards in Hollywood, Los Angeles, California. K-pop, BTS, Blackpink, car, motor car, like uh, this Hyundai, Kia, Korean cars and Samsung cell phone. LG, this big TV screen. They they made it, okay? International sensation in entertainment business, car business, cell phone business, electronics, which is computer and television business. We get it, okay? But they work too much, okay? That's why suicide rate is too high in South Korea. They're overworking. They should stop overworking like that, okay? Learn to rest, enjoy, man. Jesus said, what good is it if you have the world, but you lose yourself? Jesus said that, okay? South Koreans, they need to learn how to relax and stop working too much. <sighs> what good is you become international celebrity and all money, power and fame? Uh, you, you don't want to work too hard, okay? Because then life can be very difficult, all right? Ah. Again, I don't work too hard. I work, yes. 40 hours a week, that's it, okay? Mostly. I past three weeks, I was working like 50 hours a week, but I take my uh, weekends off. I don't work. Well, during the weekends, past three weeks, yeah, I had to communicate with my colleagues. Just texting, phone call, email. But that's about it. I don't. I did not go to work during Saturday and Sunday. I did not. Because I'm a Christian, I learned the value of Sabbath, taking days off, okay? to reset, restore, recuperate, rest. We need that, okay? I learned this as a Christian, okay? Yeah, it's, it's now our gene, nature, God, nature, human being. We need a day off. At least one day off, okay? Sunday, right? Sabbath. Sabado. Okay. Domingo. Whatever, okay? We need that, okay? We need to have some fun time, right? Yeah. We need that stuff, okay? I mean, it could sleep, diet, exercise, some good food, maybe once in a while, some comfort food like hot dogs, hamburger, pizza, maybe once in a while, okay, yeah. I'm a male adult. See, I, I can drink. I do. Every night. 
I have no problem falling asleep. <laughs> I have more trouble waking up in the morning, Monday to Friday, okay? I have more trouble waking up, okay? I have no problem falling asleep, okay? Because I'm a drinker, okay? Yeah. My uh, American friends told me, okay, because I told them, yeah, I'm a drinker, I drink whiskey, vodka every night. And they will tell me, kind of generously, yeah, 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 that, that's, yeah. They know I work out. I do running, muscle exercise, okay. Yeah, and my friends, they are weight builders too. I'm muscle builder, weight lifters, okay. So yeah, yeah, I call relax your muscle and help you with nice sleep. And I agree. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So South Koreans, okay, they need to work, my recommendation, only 40 hours a week, because South Korea, yeah, I have some friends there, they work too much, okay. In South South Korea, like Manhattan, New York, or Seattle, Washington, Chicago, Illinois, Los Angeles, California, big cities, okay, yeah, they work like 80 hours a week, right? So South Korea is kind of like that too, okay, so I'm like, guys, girls, stop. Just work 40 hours a week, huh? Don't be a workaholic. You make enough money, okay, it's just stop overworking, okay, overtime, yeah, yeah. don't do that. 40 hours a week, okay? Make less money. Have some fun. Have a life. Learn to relax and enjoy your life. Please, am I asking too much? I like Jesus said, what good is it if you have all the world, money, power, fame, mammon, and if you lose yourself, okay, don't go crazy, don't commit suicide, don't do any drugs, don't commit any crimes, okay, don't commit any adultery. Just work 40 hours a week, okay, and just, just, just stop, okay, stop overworking. Don't work yourself to death. Just 40 hours a week. After that, relax. Please, rest. Am I asking too much? Huh? You Koreans, you Americans, stop working too much, okay? Enjoy life, please, okay? And look at me, I, I'm a hunker down, honky Lee, okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm running for U.S. Senate, but all I do is once a week. For three hours, Friday night with Honky Lee. It's not real in-person meeting, it's a Zoom meeting, okay? I do it right here in my house. When I do it, do I drink? Yes. Yeah. Because I, I know how to work smarter than harder, okay? Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't really hang out, okay? If I hang out, that's between my work colleagues, all right? Yeah, I go to work Monday to Friday, okay? Sometimes we have group lunch. That's about it, okay? So other than that, I'm hunker down, honky Lee, okay? Why? I work smarter, not harder, okay? Yeah. On my campaign, Friday night live with Uncle Lee, okay? We got some good results there, okay? Yeah. Like, once. Episode 4, okay? 
episode 5, it went very well. I watched it. It was very good. Okay. Yeah, but surprisingly, no participants. Not even one Zoom bomber. No. It was just me. Okay. It was like yesterday. It was nice and quiet. Okay. It was good. Okay. So, yeah. I'm okay out of the way. I have some kind and generous friends of mine in social media. Yeah, they took notice that I was doing that. Okay. Thank you. God bless you. And God bless them too. Okay. Yeah. It was nice. Okay. I'm trying to hide this. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I cannot show the brand. All right. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I, I I cannot advertise these brands, okay? So. Uh, this Pro Mine is good, it's just too sweet. I hope they didn't put any sugar in there. But Plum, yeah, it's kind of sweet. Fruit. But it's good. It's just sweet. Like cocktail, white wine, chardonnay, okay? Cocktail or martini, I don't drink that stuff. It's just too sweet. Alright? Yeah, I, I, typically I don't drink sweet drinks, sweet alcoholic drinks, okay? I prefer beer, well, dry red wine. Vodka, whiskey, right? Even soju is it's kind of too sweet for me, okay? <laughs> I like sake though. Sake is not that sweet. Good, good, good. But it's too weak though, okay? Yeah, vodka and whiskey works for me, okay? So. Let's take five minutes break, please, okay? Welcome to Humanology. Anything goes, okay? Okay. So we have solutions for suicide prevention. Yeah. Don't work too hard. Just 40 hours a week. Don't study too hard. Don't work too hard. Learn to relax. But work, yeah. 40 hours a week. Learn. Study, work 40 hours a week, and have good sleep, diet, exercise, okay? Have some fun, learn how to dance, sing, maybe guitar, or learn to paint, sculpture, fine arts, read novels, watch movies. Just be happy, learn to be happy. Happiness education, okay? That's it. It, it is that simple. Okay. Yeah, I have some good religion, philosophy, learn about history, foreign languages in your spare time. Okay. Yeah, I learn about mineralogy. Look at all these beautiful stones, crystals, quartz, agate, geode. Learn about animals, plants. Watch some documentaries about nature. Learn to act. Learn about acting, performance. Write novels, essays, diaries. There are plenty of ways to make you happy. Legally, morally, ethically, scientifically, okay? You don't have to commit crimes. You don't have to commit suicide. You don't have to cut yourself. No tattoo piercing necessary, no marijuana, no drugs, okay? There are good ways to be happy and yeah, survive and thrive. Live and let live, survive and thrive, be successful, be happy and healthy, okay? Moral of the story, okay? It will take five minutes break, please, okay? It's that simple, okay? Yeah, learn exercise, diet, okay, martial arts, dancing, then 
you'll be happy camper, okay? So it does not cost any money, okay? Come on. Okay. Alright, we'll take five minutes break, please.
<sighs> okay, how about story time? Okay, uh, yeah, so we have solution for suicide prevention. Okay, so don't work too hard, enjoy, okay, relax, just work and study 40 hours a week, diet, exercise, run, martial art, dancing, singing. Then you'll be happy camper, okay? No more need for drugs, crimes, or suicide, nah, okay? We have solution for that, okay? Good. Let's move on, okay? So some Korean story. Well, uh, there were some cockroaches. As I grew up in South South Korea, 1980s, 1990s, almost two decades, like 18, 19 years, okay? Just some cockroaches, okay? So we had some insecticides. We invited hire some uh, ex exterminators, okay, to spray in the corners of this condominium, okay, it was like five bedroom condominium, okay, a nice one, Pampo, okay, we, we had big family, okay, all right, so, yeah, condominium, five bedroom, okay, yeah, so South Korea back then, 1980s, 1990s, okay. There are some cockroaches, okay, so we hire some exterminators to spray in the corners, okay, and these cockroaches would mutate. They come up with bizarre shaped these wings, cockroaches, okay, and it was so horrible, okay. That was back then, so South Korea. Right now, like 20 years later, 30 years later, I'm in Alaska. And I, outside, I spray mosquito sprays, insecticides, okay? And I see some mosquito mutating. Horrible. <laughs> Evolution, right? Yeah, so mosquito spray, it kind of, I guess it, it may cause some mutation in mosquitoes. Oh, it's horrible. Oh. I don't like mosquitoes, okay? Oh my goodness. Let me turn off that here, it can't get too warm. How about political mutation? Mutation in politics. Democratic Party, uh, they took very bizarre turn during President Barack Obama's era, like 15 years ago, 2008, right? Democratic Party mutated and they started to adopt LGBT ideology, okay? It's so it became Democratic Party in America became something very bizarre. LGBT ideology, okay. And how about the Republican Party? Post January 6, after President Trump lost the re-election campaign in 2020 November, okay. It became something else. It became something mutation. The Republican Party nowadays, it became something horrible. Political mutation, okay? Of political party. Bizarre turn, right? Democratic Party, Republican Party, okay? They go some, some kind of strange mutation, right? I mean, this uh, German Jewish uh, writer, what's his name? Um, I don't remember, okay. Back in like 1800s, I think, okay. What's his name? Kafka, Franz Kafka, right? I think he's a like German Jewish person, writer, novelist, right? I think he was a, used to be an accountant as a job, okay, day job. 
But in his spare time, he would write his novels. But I don't, I'm not a huge fan of him. I don't think he was a good writer at all. Okay. And he was also a womanizer too. Okay. <laughs> I was like, he. I don't like womanizers, alright? Franz Kafka, he was womanizer, okay? I'm not a huge fan of that guy, and I don't think he's a good writer I, I, at all, okay? I read a couple of his books, just a few pages, I guess. His sentencing style, sentence style is no good, okay? He's very boring, alright? But he touched based on important topics like trial, castle, metamorphosis. He dealt with some important topics, alright, but I don't think he's a good writer at all. His novels are extremely boring. Right? How about James Joyce? Well, I don't like him either, okay? English, British, white guy, okay? Was it Irish? I don't know, okay? Yeah, James Joyce, I read a couple of his books, I mean, a few pages like Ulysses, whatever, okay? His sentencing, sentence style is very boring, okay? So I, I, I don't like him or him. No. I don't think they are good writers. They are internationally famous celebrities. So what? James Joyce, Franz Kafka. I don't like their writing. They are very boring writers. Okay. And... I don't want to read their books, okay? I tried to read them, it was too boring. To me, it's garbage, okay? James Lewis, Franz Kafka, to me, garbage. Trash can stuff, trash can material, okay? Because uh, they, their sentence styles are just too boring, okay? Yeah, I mean, English literature, European literature, people, okay, they may call me, Oh, you're so ignorant! Unsophisticated! Maybe I am, okay, but James Lewis, Franz Kafka, I don't like their sentence style. I think they are extremely bad writers, and they are too boring, so I would never buy their novels, and I would never read their novels, okay, they're just boring. And I don't want to be bored. And they bored me when I read their novels. So I stopped reading them. Okay. I don't think they are any good writers at all. I think they are horrible writers. James Lewis and Franz Kafka. I think they are horrible writers. So. I'll put them in the trash can, okay? I'm sorry, I'm bad. You are just jealous! Maybe I am, okay? But look, I love Emmanuel Kant, Arthur Schopenhauer. Alright? Friedrich Nietzsche, yeah? Good writers, okay? Philosophers too, German, alright? England, yeah, Adam Smith. Francis Bacon, Thomas Carlyle, and some others, okay? Huge fan, yeah, Charles Darwin, great. Lord Byron, yeah? Samuel Beckett, or Jean Paul Sartre. Or, um, who's the other guy? Ex existentialist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swearing Kegor or like, uh, Albert Camus. Great writers, okay? Philosophical novelists. Or oh, Hemingway, right? It's not that I reject all the famous writers, no. I like some of them. World famous, internationally well known. Throughout human history, 
like Moses, Prophet Muhammad Allah, Mahatma Gandhi, Buddha, Gautama Siddhartha Buddha, okay, Confucius, Lao Tzu, okay, or Japanese samurai soldier Musashi, Book of Five Rings, okay. great writers, okay, in Korea, uh, Lee Sang, Mr. Lee Sang, and some Korean writers, novelists like, uh, Chemanshik, Mr. Chemanshik, and it's been more than two decades since I studied Korean literature, okay? But yeah, good Korean writers, okay? Japanese writers, Chinese writers, Indian writers, European writers, okay? They're good, okay, but when it comes to James Joyce or Franz Kafka, maybe I'm ignorant, maybe not, I'm not sophisticated enough, okay, but to me, their books are garbage. I'll just put them in the trash can, okay, James Joyce, Franz Kafka, okay, <laughs> I think they're total garbage case. I put their books in the trash can, okay. Why? They're just too boring, right? I'm sorry. Okay. It's just boring, right? Yeah, I've read some novels, okay? It's like page toddlers. Yes! I read books, okay? If it's good, if it's entertaining. Page toddlers, yeah. I had the experience, okay. In America, yeah. John Grisham, some of his novel, or David Baldacci, okay, thriller, kind of political thriller, okay. Yeah, Page Turner, I get it, okay. Some other books. It's just too boring, man. I stopped reading it, okay, so. And James Jones. James Joyce and Franz Kafka, there are a couple of books that are internationally famous, historical, okay, but I stopped reading them because it's just too boring, right? And I don't want to be bored. I think they are overrated, right? Over, overestimated, okay? Not my cup of tea, okay? So. But hey, that's just me, okay? If I offended you, I'm sorry, I apologize. Maybe you are a huge fan of James Joyce, Franz Kafka. Good for you, okay? I'm sorry if I offended you, okay? I'm just expressing my opinion about them, that's all. It's just me, okay? I'm sorry if I offended you, okay? How about Bruce Lee? Ultra interracialist. He's an Asian guy. He married a beautiful young white girl. Okay. I'm not a huge fan of Mr. Bruce Lee, okay? But as an actor, as a philosopher, Mr. Bruce Lee, nobody's perfect, okay? We all make mistakes, okay? As a philosopher, martial artist, Mr. Bruce Lee, I appreciate his martial art. Jikundo, okay. Wing Chun, Western boxing combined, okay. I appreciate his philosophy too, okay. But I don't like his ultra internationalism, okay. But hey, nobody's perfect, right? Yeah. How about Mr. Quincy Jones? Yeah, the producer of Michael Jackson, okay, yeah, he's ultra-interracialist too, he's African-American, 
marrying after one after another just beautiful young white girls okay uh ultra interracialism okay i don't like that part but when it comes to his music i do appreciate okay yeah dangerous the michael jackson album it was good and whatever okay so nobody's perfect okay so how about motown legend this what Gordy, Mr. Gordy, okay. Ultra interracialist, okay. He would date, marry young white girl, okay, as an African American man, okay. Because he had money, power, fame, okay. <sighs> but nobody's perfect, okay. Mr. Gary Gordy, whatever, okay. Motown legend. I appreciate his music producer, but I don't like the ultra interracialism. As an ethnic man, they could be Asian or Jewish or Arabic or African American going after young, beautiful young white girls. I don't like that, okay? There's ultra interracialism. I don't like that kind of practice, okay? But nobody's perfect, okay? So. Hey. In this brand of human analogy, yeah. We are okay for, if you want to have kids, if you are young enough to have kids, same race, opposite sense of marriage. That's our recommendation. Okay. Same race, opposite sense of marriage. If you're going to have kids, if you're young enough to have kids, same race, opposite sense of marriage. Okay? White to white, black to black, brown to brown. Okay. It's not a law, executive order or anything. It's just our recommendation. Okay. I did express this view in episode 4, just a little bit, okay. And participants, they didn't quite respond to that, okay. Maybe it was too much. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They just passed it by, passed by, went through it. I mean, they didn't talk about it didn't catch on me about it because maybe it was too much okay so yeah. you're like see no evil hear no evil say no evil kind of with Japanese three monkeys okay yeah there are monkeys in Japan okay in Korea there are no monkeys in China yeah I'm sure there are some monkeys but in Korea there are no monkeys okay. Japanese monkey right yeah, they have this geothermal spa, right? There's one theory about that. Yeah. Yeah, one monkey fell down to this geothermal spa and that Japanese monkey stayed there. So that Japanese monkey who fell down and stayed there in the geothermal hot spa, other monkeys saw it and they joined hot spa geothermal in japan okay monkey spa okay yeah that's one theory okay so we'll take five minutes break okay i can't get hungry we have 30 minutes left okay we'll wrap it up real soon and then i'll start eating okay what's in the menu maybe how about some salad yeah i went to walmart for some salad okay some vegetarian, healthy diet, maybe. We'll see, okay, so. We'll take five minutes. Yeah, welcome to humanology, okay, anything goes, okay, so. Yeah. Okay.
Okay. Uh, we have like 20 minutes left, right? Yeah, let's make the best use of it, okay? Let's talk about President Trump. MAGA make America great again. So his assumption is that America now is so bad. America used to be good, but now it's bad. So let's make America great again, like in the good old days. I did vote for him, okay, because I, was, I didn't quite understand American history very well back in the days, okay? Four years ago, five years ago, 2016, okay? So I bought to it, bought into it, and I did vote for him, okay? But now that I am more knowledgeable, learned, educated in American history, I think make America great again, MAGA, I think that's very historically ignorant propaganda. I know by now, okay, because I study some American history, okay. I learned that America now is a lot better than America back in the days. Back in the days in America, they used to have this solemn witch trial, witch hunting in Massachusetts. Just outside of Boston, Massachusetts, back in 1600s, okay, solemn witch trial. They used to kill each other, okay, accuse this innocent white Caucasian person of being a witch. They used to kill them, okay? And so lynching, they used to hang African-American people on a tree, lynching, okay, that happened too. And then there's a plan of assassination like JFK, RFK, Martin Luther King Jr., Michael Max. John Lennon, all this assassination, okay, that happened in 1960s, 70s, okay. America used to be really bad. America used to have this mafia in Chicago, this outfit. Yeah, or oh, New York, Manhattan, New York, whatever mafia their names are, okay. Organized crimes, okay. Chicago outfit or New York, Miami, whatever, mafia gangs, they had big power back in the days, 1960s, 50s, 40s, okay. And Mr. Joseph Patrick Kennedy, the father of JFK and RFK, okay, and also Ted Kennedy too, okay. The patriarch of Kennedy family, he communicated with, yeah, Mr. Senore Giancana. He, he was mafia boss, Chicago outfit, okay. And me, Senore, Italian maf American mafia gang. Mafia boss, Mr. Senore Giancana, he befriend, befriended Joseph Patrick Kennedy, the father of JFK, okay. He also befriended Frank Sinatra too. In 1960s, 50s, okay, that's how bad war it was in America. Okay? And there's a civil war, Abraham Lincoln, okay. I think it was a mistake, okay. And there was a nuclear bomb. Maybe, maybe it wasn't too much of a mistake, but yeah, FDR, yeah, Japanese encampment, right, very much racism, okay. America used to be real bad. Perhaps today's America, year 2021, I think it's, it could be the best America. Ever. Okay. So, but we start to present Trump. He said, yeah, America is bad. It used to be good back then. I think it's a historical ignorance. Okay. I used to be ignorant just like he was, Mr. Trump. Okay. He still is. Okay. Make America great again. Are you saying, are you assuming that America is bad now? It used to be better back then. Uh, I used to agree with Mr. Trump back in 2016, but now that I'm more educated in American history, I now I disagree. Today's America 
It's not perfect, but I think it could be possibly uh, the best America ever. At least we are not witch hunting, assassinating, or lynching anybody, okay? The, as bad as it gets, some swastika sticker in synagogue or LGBT bar in Alaska are read in the news. That's bad, but it's just swastika sticker, you can take it off, okay? It's not quite exactly vandalism. Yeah, it's, it's hateful. Yeah, I get it. But we're not killing anybody, it's just swastika, sticker, Nazism, we are everywhere. Synagogue, wall, or LGBT bar, door. You can't just take them off, okay? It's not murder, assassination, it's not genocide, it's not war, it's not civil war, it's just minor vandalism, okay? So that's as bad as it gets nowadays in America, okay? It's not lynching. It's not witch hunting, no model. It's just swastika sticker, okay? Yeah, it's bad, but it's not as bad as back in the days in America, lynching, civil war, people, Americans killing each other. It's not as bad as back in the days, okay? We talked about this before, okay? Evolution of evil. LGBT tattoo piercing, marijuana, sugar fetishism, or ultra interaction, yeah, it's bad, but not as bad as warism, assassinationism. It's not as bad as that. It's still bad, but not as bad as past bad ideologies, like 100 years ago. So I think America is getting better. I think the world is getting better, okay? We are making some progress, okay? I do have hope for humanity, for America, Alaska, okay? I think we are getting better. Okay. Yeah. It's like slow cuckoo, right? Slow progress. I think we are making progress, okay? I think there is God. I think He's blessing us little by little, okay? We will get paid, okay? Yeah, so we get we get paid for our labor endeavor. Yeah. I think there is God. I think God is good. I think God loves us. Yeah. That's all I have to say. Okay. Let's have some hope. Have some faith. Yeah. Let's be optimistic. Right? Let us dream about better humanity, better future, okay? Better generation, right? Yeah. We do our best. Right? Yeah. We are in good hands, okay? Yeah, God will reward us some good stuff, okay? So, doing our job, we get paid by God with His eternal blessings, okay? All right. Thank you. Good night. Have a nice weekend. Okay, enjoy tomorrow, Sunday, okay? Thank you. God bless you. For generations to come, God bless you. Diet, exercise, happy, okay? Be happy, please, okay? Thank you. Bye.